Beneath the surface of the world's oceans, silent hunters lurk. Submarines lying in wait, ready for the kill. So our supervisor, I've had a new spherical array demonstrate, bearing 345, designate Sierra 49, track of Bravo sign and ATF. Fine-tuned to detect the faintest sound, every contact is a potential target. Sierra 49. Sierra 49 is classified a hostile warship. Captain, I have a mass on bearing a 345. Oh, so that can't take scope. High right eye, high power. Mark the bearing. Down scope. Warship on the horizon. Off the deck, man. Battle stations, torpedo. Battle stations, torpedo. I man. Battle stations, torpedo. Chief of the watch, sign the general alarm. General alarm, I. The cloak of the ocean is their advantage, but their prey seldom knows it's being stalked. The dive, make it up eight zero feet. We got a bunch of them out there, and they're they're submerged all the time. Nobody knows they're there. They're doing their business. Torpedo. Off the deck, I relieve you of the con. I stand relieved, sir. Quartermaster Helms when the captain has the con. Executive officer, designate the contact in the horizon as Master One. Master One, I serve all stations. Contact the victors as Master One. Depth, eight zero feet. Up scope. Solitary stalkers. They are and always have been the most Fire treacherous, bearing. most sinister ships in the sea. Bearing! Mark! Down scope. Now let's go. Three, point four, five, point five. Point four divisions in high power. Use 100 foot masthead height. Range, 20,000 yards. Make tubes two and three ready in all respects. Make tubes two and three ready in all respects, I can. Well, the whole point of having submarines is to, to sneak up on somebody and bushwhack them. On the bow, headed over the horizon. He will be in our vicinity very shortly. I intend to take a quick observation to verify his course and make it a torpedo attack on him. Carry on. Hold on. Helm right, 20 degrees, runner. Now and on the bow. Enter system, Master One. Observation on Master One from number two scope. There's a lot of submarines at sea. They're all hidden, and none of us really know what they're on about. Point right. Fire point procedure. Master One, two, two. Solution ready. Weapon ready. Final bearing and shoot. Up scope. Number two scope. Coming up. Overwatch, tube two. The only way you find out if a submarine's around in time of war is when a when a, tor when a torpedo warhead goes off. The German U-boats of World War I sank 16 million tons of British shipping. In the two world wars, 80% of all the ships lost were destroyed by submarines. Today, a single U.S. submarine can carry more destructive force than all the firepower unleashed in both world wars, enough to obliterate cities or whole countries. One Russian submarine can do the same. Throughout the Cold War, ballistic missile submarines were the primary instruments of a strategy known as mutually assured destruction. Basically a guarantee that enough weapons would survive a nuclear first strike to deliver a devastating response. But now, following the collapse of the Soviet Union, what is the role of these boats? Both here and in the Commonwealth of Independent States that replaced the Soviet Union, there are rumors of submarine fleet reductions. But military analysts assert that little or nothing has changed in actual ballistic missile submarine operations, that the U.S. and Russia are still maintaining the vigil they kept when tensions were high. But it's hard to know for sure. <laughs> 